had love with Pat's two cents. Now, some of y'all don't believe that fat meat is greasy. So we're going to have to read some scripture. I want you to hear what God says to a scaredy cat. All right. This is the book of Judges in the Old Testament. And we are reading from uh, chapter 6, starting at verse 11. Now, to give you a background, the Israelites were intimidated by the Midians because they were oppressing them. That's short and simple. All right. Now, I want you to hear from verse 11. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak, which was an offer that pertaineth unto Joash the Abizrite, and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. So he was in hiding. What he did was in hiding. What he had was in hiding which means he was scared like some of you. Verse 12, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. <laughs> Pat's two cents. Really? Mighty man of valor. Isn't that cute? But see, God calls those things which are not as though they are. And if he calls it, baby, it is. Because whatever he says is spoken into existence. Verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles, which our father told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord, verse 14, and the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? Verse 15, <laughs> this is what wimps say. This is Pat's two cents. This is the kind of stuff that victims say, fearful people. And he was afraid. Listen, verse 15. And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Verse 16. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Now, that's two cents. I want to share this with you because a lot of you think if the devil says it, it must be. The devil says you're stupid, well, that must be. The devil says you're a wimp, well, that must be. The devil says God doesn't love you, well, I guess you might as well give up. The devil says you ain't worth a plug nickel. I guess you might as well crawl into a hole in the ground. The devil says he can do whatever he wants with you. I guess you might as well turn over and take it like a man. The devil tells you to bend over and crack a smile, and you bend over. God didn't tell me. Gideon to bend over even though the Midianites were telling him to God told him I have sent you now you go and fight now how's the boy going to fight when he's never been in a fight he doesn't know how to throw a fist doesn't even know how to, how to uh, uh, mount up a, an army God told him what to do who to tell who to gather where to gather him told them what to do and he told them who to pick. Now listen, Gideon got the victory because God does not lie like the devil does on you. So what you need to do is ask God to strengthen your faith in his word because we would not be here, 
The world would not be here. All of creation would not be here if God had not said, let there be. When God says, then things be. If God says to you, you are more than a conqueror, then that is what you be. Bad English, but you get what I'm saying. You are not a punching bag for the enemy. God says he will not harm you. God, the devil cannot do to you what God doesn't allow. And trust me, baby cakes, if God allows the devil to mess with you, it's because God is teaching you what to do about it. And he will fortify you to come out on top every time unless you choose to lay down and let the devil rape you out of fear. Who do you believe in? God or Satan? 